So Bila kita boleh jumpa lagi For another date Atau yang ini will be The last time we see each other here yeah. Wow I rasa I lagi suka transparent And be gentlemanly Anyway thank you um, You drove kan I nak buka kereta nak balik So So you selalu ke this gentleman thing the pass on your dates We really don't have to do this you know Actually kan I biasanya super chill dengan benda ni semua But you have not been nice the entire night So what? I belanja you makan dekat tempat mahal macam tu Tak kira nice ke? Oh, so you belanjakan makan kira nice lah tu Tak ke? Ya yeah. Okay then You kata kat app your girlfriend tinggalkan you? What's your point? No, no, no I just nak tahu apa sebabnya your girlfriend tinggalkan you Please don't. <laughs> no, wait. Seriously. What's the reason? Cancer. Yeah, hi. hi, this is Alison from DW Bank. Am I speaking to Mr. Johari Ali? I'm calling to check a purchase you made at the online shopping platform Belibla this evening. Uh, yes, I did buy something from Belibla, but I think it was um, about a week ago. Okay, are you sure? Our records show that there was a transaction made for $2,000 an hour ago. We are just calling to check because the payment was done via a third party app. This app is listed as unauthorized. Wait, what? Eh, you okay tak? I just checked. It appears that you ordered three places. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I, I didn't make that purchase. Can you cancel the payment? Is this correct? I definitely didn't buy uh, whatever it was. DW Bank can cancel the payment, but we will need a formal authorization from you. This is a form of identity theft. You have to submit a police statement first before we can make the cancellation. Shall I proceed to transfer this call to the authorities? Oh, okay, okay. You okay tak? Macam scam aja? Hello? This is the e-commerce and billings department. Mr. Johari Ali, is it? Yes, hi. DW Bank updated that there was an unauthorized transaction made in your name for $2,000. Yeah, yeah, $2, I know that already. Now I want to know what's the next best cause of action. Yes, sir. So we just need some details to make this report. Can we have your credit card number followed by the okay. CVP? Uh, my card number is... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are you seriously giving your card number? Shh! 30186719 and my... Oi! Hello, can you hear me? Oi. Um, hey, excuse me, hello? Hi, can you hear me? Hello? Hi, sorry, uh, who do you represent again? The police, who are you? Uh, why are you asking my friend for his bank details over the phone? Excuse me, I don't know who you are, so I... May I know which unit you are from? Uh, HQ. HQ, okay, can I have your rank and your name? I'm Jack. Jack, Jack, uh, your rank please? Uh, Captain Jack. Captain Jack Sparrow, eh? please, don't nonsense over here. There is no captain rank in the police, not in Singapore. So why don't you just get a life and stop scamming people for a living? You're welcome. You... Kenapa you confident sangat? Ingat call tu betul-betul dari bank? I... I... You terburu-buru sangat nak buat keputusan. You know, next time, just relax. Jangan kalang kabut and jangan rush. You sepatutnya verify identity pemanggil. Lepas tu, call the bank to check. And kalau you rasa tertekan nak buat, you know, decision, check dengan orang lain dulu. In this case, me. Macam mana you tahu pasal... Last month. Nanti I pun kena scam. You know, 
government agency semua ni takkan minta maklumat peribadi macam gini. And manalah ada orang transfer call directly to the police kan? You cuba check your bank account. I guarantee you, confirm tak ada deduction yang sebanyak dia kata. Dahlah, we got to go. I kena fetch adik I kat airport. You coming? So, you boleh kasi I five star rating kan? Sebab I selamatkan you tadi kena scam. Oh, and a tip. A tip pun cantik juga. For sure. Good. Terima kasih. Um, you rasa I boleh ke kalau nak belanja you dinner? To say thank you. You game? Tapi kali ini, saya yang pilih tempat makan. Oh, and I'm sorry, saya tanya you pasal your girlfriend. Saya tak tahu. Tak apa. Tak apa. You tak tahu. Good night. Good night. Kebanyakan mangsa online scams adalah golongan muda yang berusia antara 20 dan 39 tahun macam kita. Betul tu, Reh. Type dan kompleksiti of online scams pun sekarang ni semakin canggih. Tapi, you boleh ambil langkah untuk melindungi diri you daripada scam ini semua dengan ACT. Act. You nak I act macam scammer ke? Eh, tak. Bukan itu maksud I. A. Add the Scam Shield app dan ciri keselamatan seperti app antivirus dalam telefon you. Jadi, kalau ada transaksi yang mencurigakan, you boleh tahu juga. C. Check tanda-tanda scam dengan sumber yang rasmi. Contohnya macam, you dapat offer yang too good to be true. Ataupun, diorang minta you pembayaran dengan segera. Ha, kalau tak pasti, sentiasa check terus dengan official sources. Macam official website atau telefon anti-scam hotline untuk mendapatkan nasihat. Saya nak cuba teka. T. T stands for tell the police. Yes, betul tu. Tell the police and the bank. Laporkan sebarang penipuan kepada bank dan polis untuk mengelakkan lebih banyak lagi duit you hilang. Saya pun dengar ada scams mungkin call you. Tahu nama you dan juga menyamar sebagai seseorang yang you kenal. Diorang kemudian minta you teka. Siapa diorang? Jadi, jangan beri maklumat maklumat peribadi you melalui telefon juga. Ada juga sesetengah scammers yang hantar links atau QR code yang membawa pengguna ke laman palsu dan meminta mereka untuk memberi personal, banking atau simpan login details. Ini mengakibatkan mangsa kehilangan akses kepada akaun peribadi mereka atau mempunyai transaksi bank yang tidak dibenarkan. So, ingat, let's act against scams.